What's up guys, I'm James. Welcome back to the Rebel Base Build Extra. And today we're looking at sanding EVA foam for your props. More specifically, EVA foam pads for my Millennium Falcon bench build. I've got 35 of these bad boys to sand. Everybody will find their own workflow, but I found something that works really well for me. And I'm not using any fancy technology, I'm using sandpaper, specifically two different types, one more coarse than the other, and a heat gun. Combine these two together, you can get some really smooth surfaces on EVA foam. I use a low powered desktop laser to cut some of my foam, um, so I will be tackling two different types of sanding. One is the kind of finish you're left with after using a laser cutter, and one you're left with after using some kind of Stanley blade or box cutter. Either way, there's generally always some tidying up to do with your edges. I got my heat gun, and I've got two different grits of sandpaper, one a lot more coarse than the other. And if you check out this unsanded pad, it's got the remnants of the laser cut passes, and it's got the remnants of where I've used a craft knife or a box cutter to finish the job. Uh, but one thing the, the laser process does nicely is ensures you've got a really accurate shape um, and perfect dimensions for each one of these pads, which is kind of what I was after. Why am I using foam? Well, I'm using foam because it's flexible and the Millennium Falcon bench build is obviously curved. The issue, of course, is turning this into something that looks a little bit more like that, which is, as you can see, a lot more smooth and curved. In fact, you know, quite, quite beautiful to look at, really. It's um, a really quite a nice finish. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the foam up with the heat gun. I'm going to go up and down the edge, and what you'll see is it will um, melt the surface of the foam slightly and it will close all of the open cells that you can't really see with your naked eye. But it just makes the surface a lot more susceptible to sanding. Now, of course guys, it goes without saying, it gets hot. So, you know, maybe wear some thermal gloves to protect your hands. So that's the first stage. We're kind of sealing the foam and we're getting rid of any of the little fluffy bits that are hanging around. And then I'm going to take the more coarse sandpaper, which is a 180. And of course, wear a face mask because this stuff is nasty. I'm now going to go over this with the heat gun once more. Very slowly you'll see the cells closing and the surface firming up and all of those extra kind of grizzly bits have shrunk. And it's also become kind of more solid than the rest of the foam. So again, I'm going to sand it. see what starts to happen when you put a bit of force on this with a sandpaper it starts to rip the edge of the of the foam uh, and that pretty much that happens most of the time and that's why I've been using the heat gun because essentially by doing this in between each other's sand passes you're kind of repairing the surface of the foam check this out Each time we're getting closer and closer, I'm now going to use the smoother sandpaper and start finishing the job. As you can see, we've got a really lovely, uh, smooth 
surface to that and a, that, that sharp edge is also now gone. I want to give a shout out to Tide Suppliers who I've mentioned before in my videos. Uh, they supply me with my HD foam for these projects and uh, they stock all sorts of beautiful HD foam uh, and also a full range of um, flexi paint which is a special flexible paint that you can apply to props. So check their website out guys, there's some really good stuff on there and uh, thanks Tides, you're awesome. I use a grey primer, currently I'm using a Plasti Dip Tan uh, which is like a rubber spray paint, it does a beautiful job of finishing. I can just use a black acrylic on there to get this uh, nice weathered look. Thanks a bunch guys for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. Um, I'll be bringing lots more of the Rebel Base Extra episodes to your screens. These are the shorter episodes in between the main prop build shows. But of course the next prop build that I've talked about quite a bit, and I know you just want to see it, is the Millennium Falcon bench build. There's three main parts to that. There's the control panel that sits along the side of the bench, and that's the first part that you're going to see. The second is the bench itself, of course, and then the wall detail behind it. And I can't wait to share it with you. Stick with me guys, see you soon.